Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be doing, um, I should have probably found an inspo pick um, to show you guys. Let me just see if I can find one now because it's like a trend that is going on on Instagram. Um, it's just going around, everybody's doing it, you know what I'm saying? So I thought that I would go ahead and do it as well. Sometime later, let me, I've been, I've been seeing this for ages and now, and now I can't find it. I've been seeing these trends, this look, this style. Okay guys, so it turns out that I couldn't find the inspo pick, but I've seen so many of these designs literally over the last few weeks and all of a sudden Oh, they vanished like I just literally spent five minutes trying to look and I couldn't find it but I'm gonna search for it show you guys my inspo pics and all of that great stuff and then I will share it with you guys but first I'm gonna go ahead and choose some powders to work from so let's go and do that so I'm probably gonna be choosing the pastels so lilac rose um do I want to go with that? Go with Mint Ninja. Dreamy. I'll probably do um, bubble gum. Yes. Bubble gum. And then on top of these we are going to need some gel colors to match so let's get the gels i'm going to go with sleepover peach perfect um probably peppermint i would say peppermint and of course so these are the powders and the gels that we're going to do for this set if i was to do the thumb as well i would definitely go ahead and add a yellow on there but yeah let's let's take these over to the desk okay so we're not going to need obviously the gels until after we've finished doing our acrylic design so i'm going to put those to one side i'm also going to be using the nail make crystal clear acrylic oh gosh and also the perfect pink for my cover powder so i've got the 165 gram and the 45 gram jars and then of course we've got our acrylic colors which i'm going to go ahead and use as well i'm excited for this set i might even spruce it up with some sugar in I think that would look cute. Don't mind my emails coming through right. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Let's get set up. Let's get set up and ready to go. So we're gonna do a quick, simple ombre. So I'm just literally opening all my jars, getting everything opened up, ready to go. I'm just gonna have to go and close the doors because I can hear my kids currently the Easter holidays and they are screaming the place down. We don't want to listen to that for the whole time so I'll just be a sec. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Okay, I'm gonna put my monomer. This monomer isn't labeled but it is just our premium adhesive monomer. Um, I think we had a few labels that went a bit wrong when they were on the labeling machine so I was like, meh. 
I'm going to have to have it. So I'm just going to pour some, and let me get that on camera so you guys can actually see. So I'm just going to pour some into my dish. I already had some liquid in. I did do some nails the other day. Just a little, you know, practice. I'm always doing little bits of stuff. So I've just put, topped up my monoma dish. I'm just going to pop my thing over there. It did. And then... So we're set up, we're ready to go. Let me turn that around. <clears throat> okay, so let me show you, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm set up. I'm just gonna do it on my phone. So you guys can see, we've got the crystal clear acrylic, we've got dreamy, lilac rose, bubble gum, mint ninja, perfect pink. We've got my monument in the dish. I've got my size 12 brush and we've got the gels ready for later on as well got my little towel for wiping on and we have the hand prepped and ready to go so let's do this let's do this okay hopefully my memory cards don't fill up because honestly it's the worst thing it's the worst thing so i'm gonna start with yeah mint ninja so let's get into it So I'm going to come in with Mint Ninja at the tip. So obviously all of the pastel colours will be at the free edge because that's what I'm doing, a pastel ombre. And then I'll come in with Perfect Pink over the top. To blend it down. Gonna turn my brush around, blend that product back up the nail because we want a nice feathered edge. We don't want it super harsh. Should have done a clear base, but should be able to manage since we're just working on a practice hand. So I'm just gonna let that dry. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Whilst that one's just setting just a little bit. I don't want to start applying my perfect pink now because it's just gonna take off that product because it's so wet I'm coming in with lilac rose just picking up a medium bead I'm gonna place that on the nail allow it just to level for a second and then we're gonna pull it down the nail hopefully you guys can hear me I'm, when I'm talking kind of like through things sometimes I go a little bit quieter hopefully it's not going to be a problem and hopefully you guys can hear me if we need to amend the adjustments on the microphone we can do that for the next um the next video so i've got two powders applied here looking good this is just a seriously kind of you know simple speedy set so we're going to come in with, I think, yeah, I'm going to do bubblegum next, which is kind of a deep pink. It's really, really pretty. I'm just applying it on the nail. And as I blend that, it's going to work that pigment in and we're going to get a nice solid colour and we're going to blend it back up the nail really really nice keeping my eye on my other nail since I applied my product super wet I'm gonna have to keep coming in at this moment and just ensuring that 
we don't have anything where I don't want it. Gosh, they look so pretty together, honestly. I don't know if any of you, obviously some of you do follow me on Instagram, but I've done myself these short nails. First off, I was testing out some products. Second off, I just was like, yeah, just go for it, do the full set. Um, but the short nail life is not for me. Like, I either would rather have no nails on or my long nails. I just really find it so difficult to fall in love with them I don't know why maybe it's kept on them so plain but I know a few of you commented that are the same that enjoy wearing long nails and short nails just literally do not do it for you I feel you I, I, I am there with you I know what you're saying okay so I'm going to come in with dreamy so this is kind of like a peachy pink it's really stunning all of these shades as well are available as part of the pastel collection so you could get them as a full set or if you just like one of the colors you could just get one color or if you guys already have pastels use the ones you've got mm. got some fluff from my Thing. Blending that product back up the nail, making sure that it, we don't have a harsh line. making sure that everything's still recording because that's important uh, last time I looked up when I was filming my last video and I looked up and it was like movies stop recording I was like what when like it needs a, some kind of a buzzer or an alert because when you're kind of engrossed in filming and all of a sudden you see that sign it's like are you serious like did you really just do that to me I'm sat here filming and you just decided to stop and not tell me like sometimes I've been filming for like another 20 minutes and it's just not been recording so yeah it would be good if they could kind of add a you know some kind of an alarm or a beep or anything just to let you know <laughs> it would be kind like I said I'm not now I've got my pastels applied we've got all of those blended down looking really really nice oh, I'm just gonna push that product up the nail a bit and make sure it's as I want it okay so now I've got that product as I said on the nail looking good we're going to come back in with our core powder to create that ombre and blend so I'm using perfect pink and just picking up a nice bead So there's our bead. I'm going to apply it to the nail and just before the cuticle. So I'm going to be applying two beads. Um, I always like to do that when I'm doing an ombre, especially on longer sets. I'm going to push that product and then we're going to pull it down the nail just gently, gently. Really, really smoothly. And I find that it's okay if your cover powder comes all the way over and actually completely covers that color that you've used because you're using it so sparingly and super super thin that it's not going to really make much difference you're going to still get that ombre effect um, it's just going to be a little bit more diffused but I think that looks pretty and I think it looks cute so I don't really mind that So 
And now I'm going to come in with the cuticle bead. There we have it, a beautiful armor. So I'm basically going to do the same process on all of the nails using that perfect pink just to blend down into the product that we've already applied to create our really nice ombre and then we will be back to encapsulate the nails in clear. Okay guys, so I'm back. I have gone ahead and I filed the nails off camera. We're ready to come in and add our top coat and also our design as well. So I did go ahead and I've just swapped out um, Sleepover since it's quite a bright pink and I'm gonna swap it for the pink pop because I think, I, th I really think that that's gonna be better. Um, just a better choice generally. So I'm just gonna move my hand out of the way and I'm gonna get my gels onto my palette, although I'm not using them just yet um, because I do need to top coat, but I just wanna have everything ready for when I am gonna be applying these. So I've got pink pop. I've got Peach Perfect. Just gonna get them on a nice, generous dollop. I think I'm gonna do sugar in, so I'm gonna probably use Fairy Dust um, for that. Which I think I already have out. So I'm gonna use Thistle. And then we have Peppermint as well. So just place that in the order of the colours that we have on the nail. So you can see. There you have it. Looking good, looking good. I'm gonna use um I'm probably gonna use that one. I'm gonna use the baddest liner number one. So these come in a set of three, they are amazing. Amazing. A fabulous quality, just absolutely fantastic. I'm literally, I'm just gonna spritz it like this. I'm gonna pretend we're doing makeup, just to wet it a little bit. Pretty sure my little girl just had a meltdown because she's lost on a game. I'm not sure if you caught that on camera, but I definitely heard it. I'm gonna have to go and tell her. I'll be back in a second. I'm back. <laughs> the joys of trying to film when you have children. I mean, it's not too bad. Just the odd time. You gotta tell them, you know, please be quiet, just five more minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom back in. I've got my palette ready. You guys saw that, I've just got that sorted. And now I'm gonna come in with my super gloss top coat. I'm gonna top coat everything because I want to do a sugared design now i'm getting another idea do you know what before i come in and top coat i'm actually going to already i'm going to do a little bit of design work i'm going to do some so that it's not sugared and some so that it is sugared um so let's come in i'm just going to do that you know i'm just going to do a random random ass swirl I'm just gonna go like that and I'm gonna flash cure that in the light um, because 
I would pick my torch up, but I've I've lost it. Um, but we do have the little portable torches. But yeah, I'm going to flash trail it in the light because I want to make sure that everything stays in place. I don't want it kind of becoming unsharp, which sometimes that can happen if you're using gel polish for painting. So that looks freaking gorgeous. Just going to wipe off my brush and then we're going to do... I'm going to do the same on this one. We're not going to keep it the same, so we're going to, you know, play around with the side that it comes from and just make it a little bit different. So from this one, I'm going to start here. And I'm going to bring it over to the other side. that one I'm gonna go ahead and cure that we'll just flash cure it I just love creating like inspired designs and then they kind of change and become your own thing because the ones that I've seen were well, definitely not like this it was kind of like I don't even know why I thought doing stiletto because the ones that I had seen were like square but then you would got like the outline of the cuticle and then the outline of the free edge in the pastel like, that's the design that I saw and I thought damn that looks good I saw it a few times but now I've like inspired myself from somebody else's image and we are changing it up. Originally I was just recreating it. Not anymore. They've obviously caught my daughter on the on the game. I don't know if you heard that. All I heard was, ow, oh, ow, oh, they've got me, they've got me. Um hopefully not, guys. Hopefully not. So I'm going to do the next colour, which is Pink Pop. Oh, I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Like, super excited. And I'm just loading up my brush. Let me show you guys how I'm doing that. Obviously, you start off with an empty brush. I'm just going to get the baddest liner brush, and we're just going to run it through. Twist it around. Make sure that the bristles are completely packed with um, polish, ready to add your design. It's gonna look fierce. That's how it's looking so far. I think that looks gorgeous. And I am gonna add the extra sugar in because I always love a little bit of glitter. A little bit of glitter in my life. A little bit of do 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 do. A little bit of glitter planet. Do do do. Do, 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 do. And then I'm going to come in with the final one. I'm just going to spritz that. I normally have a little day upon dish. Um, but I, or I'll spray some of the um, safe scrub into a little triangle tray. But I didn't think I needed to this time. So I'm just picking up my Peach Perfect. And we're gonna do the same thing again.
quick flush cure and then we'll come in add the top coat and then we're going to work on top of that to then add the sugar in we're going to use the same colors again so don't get rid of the palette um because that is going to be in it's going to be coming in again oh i'm not flash curing sorry at this point we need to do a 30 second cure um because we're going to be top coating so we need to make sure that everything's set So now I'm going to come in with super gloss and we're going to top coat everything. That was so good. minus the thumb okay guys so that is where we are at with the nails they look absolutely stunning i'm just going to do a full cure so 60 seconds in the light and then we're going to come in and do our sugar in design so i've got a few glitters to choose from um i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see through the pots we have fairy dust on the left princess in the middle and then on the right we have clear hollow so all of these are amazing for sugaring um fairy dust is obviously like super fine princess is a two-toned iridescent and clear hollow is a rainbow holographic um clear glitter it's really really stunning so i just need to make a choice princess looks absolutely stunning sugared i know that like a thousand percent Fairy dust is super pretty. It's just um, once you actually sugar it, you get more of like a texture rather than a glistening sugar. It's really, really pretty, but it's just, I want I want something a bit more, you know, pizzazzy, a bit more bling, bling, bling. Um, so let's get you back on there. I'm so excited for this bit. I'm gonna start, I think I am gonna use Princess. Um, oof. just showing you guys how beautiful it is such a pretty super stunning glitter um, okay so I'm going to come in I'm going to start with this one since I've got it on my brush still and my plan is to mm, what is my plan <clears throat> originally I was just going to kind of you know random again not kind of follow the same path but i think it might look really nice if i just went alongside what i already have this is either going to make or break this look and we'll soon find out i guess so i'm just going to take my time 
and try and really just get this next to the line that I already have. Damn. It's literally like, girl, don't you dare breathe right now. You gotta hold your breath. Gotta get to it. Right, I'm gonna use the unused popsicles, popsicle stick. Not really. Pop stick. <laughs> don't even ask me why I just like pretended to lick that. And I'm gonna just place the glitter under. Obviously, you could work on a paper towel. I've got a nice, pretty, furry background, which I don't want all of my glitter to go on to. So I'm gonna try my best to keep the glitter on my hand and in the pot. Hopefully, hopefully I get to do it. Tap off the excess. Poke, 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 don't, poke, don't. If this is a client, a real life client, don't be stabbing them. <laughs> I'm just there jabbing with my bloody pop stick. If this is a client, you just want to tap, tap on the side of the finger and that'll be enough. Um, so I'm going to flash cure that in the light so that we can move on to the next nail. I'm going to continue that for the rest of this process. Obviously you're welcome to watch me because that's what I'm going to be doing. I mean, you might want to skip ahead, but Hopefully not. Hopefully you guys join me. Hopefully you're watching. Hopefully you're enjoying. So flash cure done. Let's move on to the next one. I'm excited to get that off. Damn. Damn. Okay. 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 So we're going to move on to this one. Oh my God. This looks so pretty like with and without. Doesn't it look so pretty? Like, I would wear it like that. But if you wanted to add the extra glitter, this is just completely optional. Completely optional. So I'm going to get in real close because I want to be as steady as possible. Ooh. honestly right I'm going to do the same again try and get this oh my god I just spilt that everywhere why didn't I do it the other way sometimes I amaze myself at how crazy I am honestly I know I'm probably making this a lot harder than it needs to be, guys. If you're finding this painful to watch, please skip ahead. If you are enjoying this, carry on. Carry on watching. I spilled a little bit, but... 
It wasn't too much. So this is where we're at. I'm just going to give you guys a close up. I'm so excited to dust these off and see the result. I'm going to wait till last, so I'm going to wait till last. Um, fingers crossed I've got them in the right position because there is a chance that I've completely missed and gone over the line that I already did, which would be absolutely pointless. Right, so we're going to come in now with Thistle. I'm going to go next to this one. I wasn't going to flash cure it, but knowing me, I'd probably knock the nail and ruin it. So I am going to do a quick flash cure on that one. That is the main reason, guys, as well, why we do flash cure, because imagine doing a design, being completely happy with it, and then, you know, smooshing it around, ruining it, and completely just messing it up all the time and effort that you put in. So I find it just, um, I find it, what's the word? comforting comforting to know that i have secured my design um it just gives me a peace of mind i guess especially if you're doing something like delicate and intricate like character work and things so i'm just loading my brush with peppermint i'm getting that on the nail I almost forgot what I was doing then. I was going to pop it in the light before I'd even added my sugar in. I think that should do it. So let's do a full 60 second cure. And then we can reveal the final look. Mm. lift you up okay now we're ready so i'm just going to use the little fluffy mini dusting brush oh my gosh yes guys this looks actually beautiful i'm back i'm back movie recording stopped again honestly this video must be so long so let's go ahead and dust off. Oh my God, that literally is the prettiest, most simple design ever. Guys, 
I'm gonna go ahead and wash the hand and everything, but let's just have a quick appreciation of how stunning that is. Oh my gosh. Love it, literally in love with how that has turned out. Guys, guys, guys. Damn, damn. I'm excited, I love it when it turns out and I love it, like literally love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, get some final shots and share that with you guys. So I'll be back in a sec, back in a sec. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Eee, I love how it turned out, I am so impressed. I think it just is a simple, elegant and beautiful design. Look at it, like you could do this on long, short baby nails, like it would not matter the length and it would look absolutely bomb. Let me zoom in. Let's get some close-ups, girls. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm excited with how this turned out. Like, this looks bomb. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some final looks, just some pictures and everything, all that good stuff. As always, everything I've used in today's video will be listed in the description box down below, and I will link it for you guys. So definitely go ahead and check anything out if you are interested. Um, you can also use code NINJA5 as well for 5% off. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I've really, really enjoyed myself again and I cannot wait to sit down with you guys and film another look. Like, I am going to get planning. As soon as I've done, I am going to get planning, girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, because, yeah, I'm just so glad to be back. I'm so glad that today is just like, come on. In fact, I decided yesterday, I was like, get up, get your hair done, get your makeup done, and get yourself filming because it's been so long. And I've wanted to do this for so long, but you know when you're just really in that, like I said, I've been slobbing, like just chilling and I'm back. I'm so glad to just get my makeup on, do my hair and sit with you guys and do some nails, but I actually be excited about it because there's times where I've come on and I've been like, just forcing myself to do it. And when you do that, you don't really do the best. Like you don't give out the best energy, the best vibes. So hopefully you guys are really enjoying this. You've enjoyed this video, share it, like it, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy this format, I need to know about it. Or if you just prefer me just to do the nails and me not be on camera, let me know. Because again, I need to know about that as well because it's pointless me doing something if you guys aren't enjoying it. Um, so that is the main thing for me. I just want you guys to enjoy it. I also want to have fun and I am having fun right now. So I'd love to do this again. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, please remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. I will share some close-ups of these again and some pictures. Check out my Instagram as well and I will see you there. Bye.